What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today I'm going to show you how to edge joint a board without a jointer. Let's go. So what do you do when you need to put a clean edge on a board and you don't have a jointer? You could use a table saw sled or a jig, but there is another way. With the Craig router table, you are able to edge joint a board. Now how do we do that? Let me bring in and show you how we set this up so we can edge joint a board like this that has all kinds of nasty mill marks. The key to this whole operation lives in a storage rack on the fence of this router table and they are in the form of these two rods. One, two. It's as simple as that. These two small rods get placed as a wedge in this side of the fence, in the outfeed fence, and then we are able to edge joint our board. Let me bring you in and show you a little better. The first step is to loosen the screws that keep this fence tight. You can see that I can slide this and then there's a lot of slop in there right now. I'm going to take the two rods that I previously mentioned and I'm going to slide them into the channels here. What this does is it bumps out the fence just enough to act as a jointer. So now I'm going to tighten the fence back up. And now this fence, the fence isn't actually set yet, but if I reference the fence, this piece here is not going anywhere. Let me bring you back to the front and I'll show you how we set this up for a jointing operation. If you find value in this video, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell so you get all the notifications when I upload videos, and let's get back to the video. All right, if we look at our fence here, if I put a straight edge on the outfeed side, we can see, or at least maybe not in this camera shot, but there is definitely a gap on the infeed side here where we're flush on the outfeed side. I can rock this back and forth, and I don't know if you can hear this. But that is exactly what we want. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to move this piece of wood out of the way. I'm going to line up my fence, and I want the bearing to be flush with the outfeed side. And the way I do that is I just take uh, an aluminum or a, a, a metal straight edge of some sort. This is just a small little six inch ruler. And I want my outfeed side to be flush with the bearing. And as I'm checking, this looks pretty good. So I'm gonna lock my fence down. That still looks good to me. I lock it down on both sides. And after I lock it down, I check again just to verify and it looks good to me. That kicks it out a 16th or so, a 30 seconds, something like that. So now I am set up to edge joint. One thing that I failed to mention earlier is the setup of the bit. Now my machine is unplugged, so I'm, I'm pointing kind of close here. What you want to do when you set your bit height, you want to have the bearing, uh, I don't know if this is technically a top or a bottom bearing, but uh, you want the bearing in the router table to be on the top here for these purposes, but you want to set it high enough that, you do, that the wood doesn't actually contact the bearing. That way we are able to still reference our outfeed side, but joint the whole height of the board on the edge. So now I am ready to joint this piece of wood. 
All right, I've got my eye protection and my hearing protection on. I'm ready to go. Let's join this board. Now, after just one pass, we went from that gnarly looking edge to something that looks like this. And that's all because I was able to take a couple moments to put some pins in here, some, some rods in here, to kick out this fence and joint. Now, if the edge is rough enough that you need multiple passes, you can absolutely do this multiple times. It works the same as a jointer. Now you're not gonna face joint anything on here, but if you need to put a clean edge on something, this Craig table and those two rods are an absolute game changer and just one of the many features that I love about this Craig table. Now this is not going to turn into a Craig table uh, review but if that's something you guys are interested in in the future, let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really hope you got some value out of this video. Hopefully you now have a new jointing technique if you don't have a jointer. This isn't necessarily going to replace a jointer long term, but I think it makes it so that you don't have to go out and purchase a jointer immediately. It doesn't have to be one of the first tools that goes into the shop. I don't have a jointer right now, and with this method, I haven't needed to make a jointer a priority. That saves some money in the shop, and that way I can put it towards other things like other, other tools and upgrades. If you like the video, make sure you give it the thumbs up, make sure you comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.